In this video we'll show how you can easily configure a control in a list control to dial a telephone number when you're running on a uh, phone device. So you can see here I have my uh, iPhone reflected to my screen so you can see uh, my screen over here and when I tap on a uh, field uh, on the phone number field uh, you can see that it brings up the uh, uh, telephone dialer uh, in the iPhone and lets me uh, dial uh, dial the number. So let's go now and see how that was configured. So we'll go back now uh, to the uh, list builder over here and we can see that in our list uh, currently we just have some static data and the static data has uh, the name of the person and then it has two fields. One field called phone display and another called phone dial. So you can see phone display here is uh, formatted um, but the phone dial <coughs> Uh, is not formatted, uh, although it, it wouldn't matter if it was formatted, but the important thing is that it includes a plus sign and then the country code. So uh, in this case I'm just assuming that the, all the phone numbers are in the United States, so I'm using plus um, and then one for the US country code. So the phone that you actually dial must include the uh, the country code. So that's what my data looks like. Then we'll go here to fields and you can see that we've got um, the two fields, the, the, sorry, the three fields that are in the actual list data itself. But then we've gone over here and we've added an item called a hyperlink. So there's our hyperlink over there. And then when we look at the configuration of the hyperlink, we've set the action type to telephone. By default, all hyperlinks have an action type of JavaScript which lets you define an, uh, some JavaScript to execute when the user taps on the hyperlink. But in this case we'd like the action to be a telephone action and then we've specified that the phone number to dial is whatever value is in the phone uh, dial field over here and the uh, display text that shows up on the hyperlink is whatever value is inside the phone display field. Then we've gone to the actual list layout itself and we've chosen to display the name field. We haven't chosen to display either the phone display or phone dial field, but we have chosen to display the hyperlink. So now when we go to uh, run this, you can see here that we have a hyperlink. The hyperlink is displaying the phone display field, but when I click on the hyperlink, we're going to dial the phone number shown in the phone dial field. So the reason that it's nice to have a distinction between the display field uh, for, the, for the display phone number and the dial, the phone number to actually dial, is that uh, you can actually put uh, special codes in the phone number to dial like a P which would be a one second pause and a W which would wait for a uh, dial tone. Um, so uh, th th those are probably more useful in a desktop uh, application. But the ability to configure a hyperlink to dial a phone number, uh, especially when running uh, on a phone in a mobile application, is certainly very useful. Thanks very much for watching.